The video you're about to see was originally published on my Coral Blade Grotto channel as a reaction video. And as you know, or maybe you don't know, the reaction videos on Coral Blade Grotto are opinion videos, just entertainment. However, this particular video has to do with a very important subject matter, and it has to do with the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar domain. There is some grammar auditing in it, as well as flag mechanics, and some other information regarding assumption and presumption, and I felt it's important enough to also include it with a few small corrections on my grammar channel for those of you interested and familiar with this scenario that happened back in 2017. So keep that in mind. This is a reaction video from my channel, Coral Blade Grotto. It is a video of opinion. I'm including it here for knowledge cultivation purposes for those who are very much interested in the grammar technology known as correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, i.e. quantum grammar. Here we go. All right, welcome to another reaction video. This one's been a long time coming. I've actually been reacting to this since I first saw it in the autumn of 2017, I think it was. Been thinking about it since that time. Been having roundtable discussions about it with uh, my friends and associates and compatriots, comrades, and a lot of different thoughts about it. I'm going to put it up here on Coral Blade Grotto and then also probably on my grammar channel just because of the significance of this video and what it's brought to the public. Now, mind you, I witnessed this video when it was very first released. I don't recall the channel it was first released on, but what I do recall is it's been edited and it was edited within a couple days if not 24 hours of its being released there are some things that were cut out of it which i'm going to bring to your attention from the best of my memory and also i have a couple friends that can certify this unfortunately none of us that i know of downloaded it when it first came out which is very very unfortunate i'm going to draw your attention to a few anomalies in the video as well as a lot of inconsistencies having to do with uh the claims being made and so on and so forth. So let's get started. So we have for the stand hyphen down hyphen court hyphen marshalling of the colon David hyphen one colon space Miller. So we have a particle of negation and marshalling, which is ing modifier. And then we have an interesting thing where it has of the and then colon David. The colon in front of David is completely unnecessary because the fact David Ife and Wynn colon Miller has already been positioned by of the. You see what I'm saying? So it's saying of the for the. And that breaks the mathematical interface and the grammar. Just saying. Now let's take a look at this document here. <clears throat> July 2017, 23rd of July, and we have autograph over the $1 stamp. I draw your attention, ladies and gentlemen, to the flag at the very top. Do you see the finale on that flag? Do you see the topper on that flag? Are you aware of Army Reg's 840-10. Anything added to a flag, any modification, any fringe, any toppers, any finales, nullifies the constitution of that flag. Meaning, whatever the flag originally claimed to be, it is no longer because it's been modified, just like verbs and pronouns are, are modified in grammar. So this flag has been modified. What's it been modified to? It's a military flag. It's a, an act of war. It's got a spire on the top of it by the flag protocols in 840-10. Army regs. 
So this is not a correct sentence structure flag. I don't know what this is, but it's not correct sentence structure flag because it's been willfully modified by the spire on it. Now this is, I can't read any of this really. It's too blurry to read it, unfortunately. Corporation case, RR385460312US. US. Now let's take a look at this scenario here. We have a court. Now, it is true that if you are, if you create a court, you create a court anywhere you want to create a court. It can be under the, the oak tree out there, under the Palo Verde, in the field, in a garage, in a courtroom, wherever you want it to be, or four quarters of a piece of paper. That is a courtroom. Everything, as a, as a YouTube creator, okay, as someone who is cognizant of creating videos and creating atmospheres and things like that, I'm aware that just about everything that goes into a video creates a scenario in the viewer's mind. This is no different. Look at the individual that's over the left shoulder of Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould, which we, would be your starboard side, the viewer's starboard side. You have an individual holding an automatic rifle, standing there. Now, what, what does this produce in your mind? What does it make you think? What <laughs> could be the possible reason for an individual? I'm just asking this as, an, as a viewer. What could be the possible reason this individual would have someone with an automatic rifle on a wherever this place is? I have to guess it's in Wyoming at this point in time. I mean... It's very interesting that, that this is put in place here. Anyways, let's continue. Special military market marshal field court marshaling. Okay, so it's a military field court marshaling. Due to David Eifenwin Colin Miller's medical condition, medical condition as he has suffered from a massive coronary that required cardiopulmonary resuscitation after many years of working under stress due to the medical conditions that he incurred, he has demonstrated to this court that he lacks the capacity to perform as a postmaster, postal hyphen in hyphen inspector, postmaster hyphen general, port hyphen authority, muster hyphen master, postmaster bank banker. Hold up right here for one minute, ladies and gentlemen. If you listen to what he just said, he just said that Colin David Eiffelman Colin Miller lacks the capacity to perform, and then he goes on to name some things. I never knew that David ever claimed to be Postmaster General. First of all, that's the first thing that popped into my head. Actually, that's the second thing that popped into my head. The first thing that popped into my head is this man is making a claim for someone else. With correct sentence structure, one may only make a claim for oneself. If one has been damaged by someone else or another vessel, then one would make a claim of damage because it's, for example, if I'm being damaged by something, I make a claim for it, that I've been hurt in this way or been trespassed upon. I don't make a claim for what someone else is doing. I can't say that, um, well, this person, this individual hurt me because they're mentally unstable. I don't know that. I can't make a claim for someone else. That's an assumption. You know, if someone runs into me with their car, I can't say, they were trying to kill me. I, I don't know that. All I know is my car got run into and there's damage to the car. That's all I know. And I, and I hurt my neck. I have damage to myself. That's all I can claim. To claim anything else is a complete and utter assumption. And this is what the fiction does. The fiction wants you to believe that it can tell you what you're doing, what you're thinking, 
your mental condition of state, your physical condition of state. It wants you to think that it can assume those things and you'll just accept it. And that's what it looks like is going on here. This man is making claims without evidence for someone else. He's not showing any damages. He's not showing any specific proof of any damages. He's making a claim for someone else's mental condition of state. And as far as the other medical things, physical things that happened, as far as heart conditions or stuff, we don't have any evidence of that either. We just have the words that are coming out of this individual's mouth. And over the last few years, ever since this was published, many, many people have just taken for granted that these words are true. And I'm showing you, if you even have the smidgen of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, knowledge, you will know that what's being done here is not correct along the lines of the grammar technology of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Plenty potentially judge, ambassador, director, and federal postal court judge. After many repeated demonstrations by David Eifenwin Colin Miller, with his lack of his remembering dates and pertinent closure, that is, that is re his duty to know. So again, he's making claims that uh, David Wynn Miller, his memory is gone, that he's not able to remember pertinent dates and things like that. Where's the evidence? And maintain fluency for now time cognition in the field. It is commanded. It is the command of the Special Military Market Marshal Court that David Hyphenwin Colin Miller is stood down as an active participant and vacated from his using correct communication parse syntax grammar. Correct communication parse syntax grammar. He didn't say correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar, first of all. And second of all, he's speaking in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. So he's literally written on a piece of paper. He's reading from it, right? You and I can both certify he's reading from a piece of paper. Fiction babble and quantum grammar mechanics. He no longer has authorization to use correct communication, parse syntax grammar, and quantum grammar mechanics. He just said he no longer ha is authorized to use this. Well, the authority or author of correct sentence structure dictates what can be authorized and what cannot be authorized. This individual is not reading correct sentence structure. This individual is reading adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. They are the author, if indeed he wrote this, of adverb, adjective, pronoun, fiction babble. Nothing to do with correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Please, ladies and gentlemen, listen very carefully. As of this date, the 23rd of July, 2017, in this field of this now time is with the special duty summary judgment of the special military special duty summary judgment Terry market marshal field court marshal court with this command by this commander in chief colon Russell hyphen J colon Gould with this authorization by this corporation hyphen case number colon RR 385 460 312 US. For I concur. For I concur. All right. We don't see the faces of the concurrence. At this point in time, I remember the very first premiere of this video when I watched it. What you would see at this point is Russell staring at the camera, much like you see. And then someone off to the side says, hit the gavel. And then Russell picks up the gavel and hits it, which you're going to see right now. See the cut? Right there was the cut. They cut it out. Now we have for the closing hyphen questions, again, the ING modifier, particle of negation. Uh, I'm here today as a citizen. 
uh, with uh, Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould. Uh, my name is Colin Robert hyphen John Colin Shapiro, and I have just witnessed the the court martial hearing of yes. David Win Miller. David uh, Win Colin Miller. David hyphen Win Miller. He goes out of his way to punctuate the name. Keep in mind, this is a military court martialing. I would let I would challenge the viewer, or even these individuals in this video, if they're still around, to show me evidence that Colin David hyphen Win Colin Miller was in the military. I'm talking about for the David hyphen win of the Miller, period. Show me evidence that that individual, that live life claimant was in the military. I'm sure you might be able to show me evidence that adjective, adjective, pronoun David Win Miller was in the military, but not colon David hyphen win colon Miller. In which case, this, using the 1 by 1.9 Title IV flag and this whole scenario does not apply to colon David Ipen Win Colin Miller. It applies to adjective adjective pronoun David Win Miller. Nothing to do with correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Do you see what I'm saying? From the beginning of the video where the finale is modifying the flag and it's not a correct sentence structure flag, it's not a correct sentence structure document based upon the flag protocols, Army Regs 840-10, Due to the fact that this individual, as far as I know, Colin Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould, has never been in the military. So how can one claim any type of military authority or authorization if they are themselves not in a military? Have never been a member of that organization, that fraternity. Adjective, adjective, pronoun David Wynn Miller was, he admits to this so much, you know, that much. But not colon David hyphen Wynn Colin Miller. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Colin David hyphen Win Colin Miller, mm -hmm. and so like I said, uh, coming from the the perspective of a citizen, citizen, uh, I have a few questions for you today, sir. Yes, yes. Please okay. Feel free. All right. So, since you conducted this court martial hearing, yes. Uh, number one, is David Win Miller allowed to take on or conduct any new court cases? Uh, David hyphen wing Colin Miller is uh, not was with a vacant hyphen capacity for the conducting of any new cases. Again, I reiterate to you, in correct sense structure, no one can make a claim for someone else unless they have consent to do so. For example, if you have a child and you create a live life claim for that child, you can make claims for that child because you are the authority of that child and the postmaster of that live life claim until the such time as the child reaches adulthood. And then, of course, they would, if they choose to, take authority over their live life claim. One may not make a claim for another. And here, this man is making a claim for David Wynn Miller saying that David has vacant capacity. How does he know that? How can one man tell another man what their capacity is or what their capacity isn't. One may only make a claim for one's own capacity and or the damages that have been done if there's been any damage or trespass done personally. One may not make a claim for someone else. This is a hard, fast rule, not only in correct sentence structure because anything else is an assumption and a presumption. And what is the beauty of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar? It is void of modification and presumption and assumption. So what that means is uh, the answer is no, he does not have the capacity to start a new case. He does not have the capacity. Listen to what the man is saying. This is a trespass. This is an assumption, a presumption on someone else's capacity. One may only make a claim for oneself. I can't drive that point home enough to those of you out there who are learning this technology. Okay, thank you. Uh, 
Uh, number two, uh, since conducting this court martial hearing, uh, is he allowed to finish the cases that he currently has on his desk? Uh, yes, he's allowed to, to finish as long as he doesn't file in as a federal postal judge uh, in his fiduciary position. I'm not sure how he's what he has active. I'm, I have no closure on So okay. since you just conducted this court martial hearing, number three, can the people that paid uh, David Wynn Miller uh, expect a refund of their money if he has not filed the paperwork on their cases? Uh, David Hyphen Wynn Colin Miller has a Title 28-636 consent contract with between him and the people that paid him. Um, I'm not actively, uh, I can't interfere with that private contract, so that will be, have to be negotiated between David Eckman, Colin Miller, and those who have filed for him to file a, uh, uh, a lawsuit on their behalf. Uh, David Eckman, Colin Miller. Um, uh... So in other words, I'm aware, I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak in a sort of a cheeky fashion. And remember, this is a reaction video, it's a video of opinion. So this man is basically saying, I'm removing this David Wynn Miller from his all uh, responsibility, his duties as blah, 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 chief federal colon, blah, 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 right? He's totally taking David out of the everything that those two created, supposedly. And for those of you out there if you've paid David Wynn Miller to do anything for you, hey, too bad, so sad. Has a duty, and I don't know what that is, between him and his clients, because he has a Title 28-636 consent contract on his, uh, uh, on the people that have made a claim of grammar with him. Um, he would, be, he would, that would be strictly between him and his, and, his, and the claimants of the damage, the victims of the damage. I, I'm, I can't speak for Dave, so I have no first-hand knowledge. Uh, maybe some administrative costs off the top, and I don't, I'm not sure what he would do. So I, I don't have enough full closure on that, with what he has contracted in and what he has contracted out. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. You bet. If the citizens, uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to email me and uh, get a hold of me. And uh, I'm you know, here for the will of the people. He's here for the will of the people. I challenge the viewer to go ahead and email him and see what happens. So, thank you. Thank you. Colon you hyphen will hyphen be hyphen missed. Wow. There is so much no contract and particle negation and modification in that sentence that uh, I got nothing further to say on the issue. <laughs> At this juncture, I would like to express my gratitude towards Colin David Ivan Colin Miller for his bringing this technology to the public eye and also for his graciousness in accepting my phone calls during the last year of his life and speaking with me and sharing what he shared with me, emails, Skypes, text messages, so on and so forth. I would also like to express gratitude towards Colin Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould for the videos that he participated with prior to 2017 and also uh, for his email correspondences with me from 2017 until January of 2020. He was very nice in uh, answering some of my questions and also challenging me on a couple things of which I have full record. Also, I hope that this video has given people a different lens and a different angle with which to look at this stand down video from 2017 that I think a lot of people may have taken for granted. Um, I, thought, I hope I brought some things to light because these are questions that I and a few other people have had for years about this video. And I finally gotten around to putting it out there in the public and sharing it in a form and venue that is not aggressive, just sharing an opinion. 
And I look forward to those individuals out there who have something to say about what it is I address in this video. As I said, the fiction uses fear and assumption presumption. That's not something that is inherent in correct sentence structure. Correct sentence structure is about the facts and having closure on those facts and not making claims for others. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel, if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.